In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an Excel user form that runs automatically when values are entered. So I did this for a company a while back, and they had a pile of data, not this data obviously, but a um, pile of data that every day they needed to go through in a hurry. Now, they didn't want to have to um, press search and re redone. So what we, done, we I did is I created a user form. And so with the user form, you put in the order number. They were using a barcode scanner to enter the order number, but I have just copied some numbers and I will um, just enter them in. And so I'm putting the account number here, which is the order number. And so I'm going control V and automatically, I just entered it. I didn't press anything. Automatically it tells you it's on row 39. And then you can, um, you can put in notes for this one. You can say um, the order was shipped late or something or damaged on shipping or something like that. But so let's go order damaged in shipping. Now, not only can you put in this thing, but it's going to mark that you, you've seen what the problem is. So let, let's click mark. And there you go. It has it is highlighted where the row is in your in your uh, data. And there's 500 rows of data here. And um, then you've put your notes here: order shipped or damaged in shipping. Now you don't have to close it down. You just go clear clear a new order, and then you can look for the next one. So um, and I'm going to enter it in. And it's gone up to row 17. And then you could put notes in here. You could just mark it without putting any notes in there. Or you could just go on to the ne next order. So this is a very handy thing for going through large sheets of data. So let me show you how I've done this. So the first thing I did is I made the user form and I basically have three fields in it. I have the order number, I have the line, and I have the notes. And I have two buttons on here. Now, I, I've renamed the uh, user number, user form one to search form. And that's what it's called here. The order number, the field where you're entering the order number, I've changed it. So if you look at the top here, the name is order.text. The line number, I've changed it to line. And the notes, I just left it at text box three. OK, so now how we're going to make it automatic is, first of all, I'm going to right click on, on the user form. And I'm going to go view code. OK, so um, right here is, is the code that we're looking at. So it says private sub order text change. So if it changes, so if the length of order text is greater than five, it needs to be six for it to be happy to be an order number. Call search order and then exit sub and, and, or else exit sub. So I wrote a little module called search order. And now let's go back to this and we'll show you this. So my search order basically, um, the order is search form order dot text whatever you have in there is your order number. Um, we have heading rows, so my x equals two. The last row is active sheet. It, we calculate the active sheet by the rows count and go to the bottom and come back up. And now it's going through um, from x equals two to last row. Um, it's saying in the first column if your order number is if. Uh, if the order number is equal to this, then the row number is X. Now, um, then what it's doing is on the search form, it's putting in the row number automatically when it finds it. And then you also have, um, if, if it's not found, then you're going to say no order number found. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is I have a little form to bring up this user form and it says, with search form, remember I've named user form one into search form, and then I'm specifying the height and width, and then uh, height as 250, uh, or 
Width is 250, height is 180, and dot show and width. It's important to include these uh, parameters because I find that when you don't, when you keep bringing up the user form, it will grow and grow and grow on you. Okay, so now let's go back to the user form for a second and I'll explain some more values here. And so let's go to mark. So that's just your one where you're putting in your comments and then you're, um, then, and you can uh, make it green and then put in your comments as well. So let's double click on this. And so, um, so row number equals line value, sheet one rows, interior couple equals four, which is the green. Sheet one cells, row number, and column 11 is where you're going to put in whatever you have in your notes textbook. And then um, changing it to a new value, which is the other button, is basically just clearing out all the fields. So I will, of course, include all of, all of this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.